This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Ah, uh, yes, it's perfect. This split keyboard has way more features than I've ever used in the past, but to make sure it's as good as I think, I will be using only this keyboard for the next 24 hours. This is the Digma Rays, a staggered split ergonomic keyboard. I'm super excited to tear this thing out of the box and put it on my desk. Done. Easy. The first thing I realized was how much desk space this keyboard took up. Compared to a normal keyboard, it's chunky, but I can get used to that. It took some playing around to find the spacing for the two halves, and at first it felt super bulky and unnatural. You can also combine them to be a normal keyboard, which I thought is awesome. Boop! Just snap them together and then you snap them apart. That's pretty cool, super convenient. And the cable management was super clean and easy for this keyboard. Other split keyboards are a nightmare with all the cables. Immediately, felt pretty good. The shape is nice and it can tilt easily. They include their own tending kit on the back of each half and you just have to screw them onto the back. The setup is quick and simple. With the tending kit, you can go from flat all the way to extra steep. And the design feels super thought out and natural. But the real question is, can I type with it? So I booted up monkey type to measure my speed and here is my typing speed with a normal keyboard. 131, oh yeah, still got it. Let's try the split keyboard. Typing felt a little clunky with the new layout and I came out to 45 words per minute, not bad. <laughs> There's definitely some room for improvement here but this is way better than the ortho split keyboard I used in my 30 day challenge last year. I think now's the time for some training. My goal is to get as fast as I can with the split keyboard as a normal keyboard by the end of the 24 hours. For the training, I needed to type, type a lot. So I used it for chatting in my Discord server, which you can join down below. Took a bunch of video notes, did some monkey type on and off. And yeah, I used it all day. Basically every keyboard related thing, except I did it with this. As you know the saying, practice makes perfect. So it's been a few hours. I've been using it a lot. I've been typing a lot. And I gotta say, it, it feels good. I'm pretty fast now. My forearms still don't like it and I've had to play with my chair height quite a bit and the tinted kit quite a bit and the software like a whole lot because I want to know like where's the lead, where's the arrow keys, where's my music stuff, where's everything that I need to use that I typically don't. So here is my layout. I've got layer zero which is base. I've got arrow keys here. Here's the numpad stuff. I typically don't ever use these things. There's function row and then I've added a few things on layer two like these media things and then mouse button. So I'm not used to a 60%, I prefer a 65% or a 75%, you know, one of the bigger keyboards. Maybe if they added arrow keys, I'd be like, yeah, this is perfect. It's pretty good. The keyboard sounds really good as is, but I like lube switches. Keyboard hat initially came with Kale Speed Silver switches, but I went for TTC Gold Pinks instead to get a better typing experience. Then I did a quick stabilizer mod. There's not many stabilizers here, but I did it anyways. I threw the keycaps back on and it was ready to go. It took about 10 minutes and the difference was pretty huge. After the first few hours, I've gotta say, it's truly amazing for a split keyboard. My opinion may still change, but there's a lot of day left. But here are the things I really enjoy about it. One, the staggered layout. The staggered layout makes it super easy to learn the layout, especially if you touch type and already use a normal keyboard. You just like split it in half. A previous split keyboard I used was ortholinear. That meant it was like a box and it took 30 days to get used to and I was still typing super slow. This just feels way more natural. As a side note, if you don't type your middle keys with like the right middle fingers, you'll end up reaching for a key that's like on the other side. But if you do, you know, do that right, then it's fine. I do recommend taking breaks between typing sessions. Maybe keep fiddling around with your angles. Use a mouse on the keyboard whenever possible instead of reaching over unless you're doing a lot of mouse work. Digma just launched their newest layout on Kickstarter, a columnar split keyboard that's wireless. Super cool, but you know, I like my normal staggered layout. I don't, I don't need that other one. I don't need it. And number two, the tenting kit. The tending kit is super convenient, makes it easy to type at any angle you want, which can be a nice break for your wrists 
and the muscles of your forearms. I found myself changing angles quite often, going from flat to steeper to not steepest because my arms would just get tired from being like up all the time. But that meant I had to move my chair up and down to adjust for the typing height. But the option is nice. Changing it up is always nice, but I recommend just going for a walk. Three, the programmability. The software comes in clutch. It's actually the best software I've ever seen of any keyboard ever. You can experiment with different layouts, RGB settings, mouse settings, everything. It just takes a long time to remember all the things that you put on your layers. You can press so many things at the same time. Technically, it's a 60% keyboard, so you don't have arrows. You have to program in your arrow keys, your delete, everything. You can even program your mouse movement into your keyboard. So you don't have to reach so far here for your mouse. But I feel like I would need more than a day to customize it the way I want. But dang, it's got good software. I've seen people have layers for like Photoshop, Premiere, music editing, pretty much anything. You can have a layer for anything. Now let's have some fun and do some typing tasks. In order to build some more typing speed with this new keyboard, I decided a little competition would help. And Type Racer is the perfect place to do this. Let's own some noobs. The difficult part about Type Racer is you play against real people and the program forces you to use proper sentences with periods, commas, semicolons, numbers, just everything. So there's no cheating. You're not just using the alphabet. No, you're using everything. So learning all the proper key placements took a little bit of trial and error and some more playing around with the software. After taking a few losses at the start, I started to get into the groove with the split keyboard. I went from falling behind in each race to pulling out ahead and then destroying the competition. And towards the end, I was able to consistently hit triple digits and win. I can go back and forth from this keyboard to a normal keyboard pretty easily. It's not that difficult. It's basically the same thing. You just split it in half. After using this for a whole day, it's a really nice keyboard and the small tweaks I made while modding made this even more enjoyable to use. But no matter how nice it is, picking up a new layout is always a challenge. Even if it isn't crazily different, you still need to adapt to all the changes. Typing is usually something that happens subconsciously, but when you constantly need to think about typing the next letter and where it is, it makes stuff like writing a lot more difficult and more tiring. So take lots of breaks. And a split keyboard doesn't really fix everything. It's not gonna be the magic pill to fix your wrist pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, whatever pain you have. This comes down to posture, your routines, your habits, taking free frequent breaks, working out, all the good stuff. But I believe you can use split keyboards as a tool to fight against body pain. But it's not the end all be all. I will say this though, this is the best split keyboard I've ever used. It's the most flushed out, it's got nice software, attending kit, RGB, but the price is quite high. I'm sure you're wondering, did I beat my normal typing test from the start of the video? You bet I did! And to finish off the night, I decided to play some games with the split keyboard, and you won't believe how difficult it was. All right, I use a controller, never mind. Challenge is over. I take everything apart and say goodbye. I enjoyed it, just takes too much space for me. Still the best split keyboard I've ever used. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform to create their very own website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. It's easy to manage your members, communicate with them through email and get insightful data all in one platform. It's also easy to create a community on your Squarespace website with comments, threads, replies, and likes too. Use their powerful blogging tools to create and schedule your posts like me. In addition, you can use their e-commerce capabilities to help you manage inventory, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. Go to Squarespace squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch. Go to squarespace.com slash switch and click to save 10% off your first purchase off a website or domain. And check out my website at prettykeyboards.com.